Hello, art friends. Hello, September. My name is Fleshwad, and I can officially start posting creepier videos. I have a really creepy one for you today. If you think you have seen the summit of weird things on this channel, think again. While drawing these images, even I was in shock. I kept thinking, yep, this is definitely the weirdest thing I have ever drawn. And with each image, I thought that exact same thing, but more. Remember to watch this video in the dark, with the lights off, and your headphones on. First off, what is a cursed image? You're probably wondering. A cursed image are photos or photographs that are often disturbing or shocking. They are usually taken with very poor quality cameras or phones. They are often compared to creepypastas as many cursed images have been tied to very popular creepypasta stories, such as Smile Dog and Jeff the Killer. Momo is also a very popular example of a cursed image. The origin of cursed images is said to have been born on Tumblr, a website known for sharing photos, GIFs, and also home to many blogs. This picture is said to be the first cursed image posted on the internet. Why? Upon deeper research, it seems that the photographer claims that there was no tomatoes seen at this location during the time of the photograph. But the photo says the complete opposite. The most popular cursed image account belongs to Twitter user at cursed images and at cursed images too. I searched the first Twitter profile and picked three cursed images and have decided to illustrate them for you today. You can find the two Twitter profiles in the description down below, but look at your own risk because some things cannot be unseen. By the way, all three of our cursed images today have to do with doll slash body parts. Enjoy. Cursed image number 9192, Salsa Baby. In this photo, we see what appears to be a fun Halloween party scene. There's chips, salsa, oh, and a baby doll being used as a dip bowl. Fun. It's so weird, but I actually love when I see photos of dolls being used in the weirdest ways, such as phone cases, furniture, and yes, even the occasional dip bowl. Can you just imagine what happened at this party where someone decided it would be cool to use a doll as a holder for dip? That is just so intriguing to me. Who did this? Why? Were they out of plates? Did they think it would add an extra crispy touch to their Halloween party? Was the dip good? I have a million questions and zero answers. And that is the essence of a cursed image. I first went in with my own choices of coloring, and then decided, for authentic cursed purposes, it would be better to color pick from the image itself. If you don't hear from me tomorrow, you know what happened. I wanted to make sure the baby had a very blank look on her face, but honestly she looks terrified. And who wouldn't be? I added some purple shading to her, and then turned down the opacity. Then went in with some highlights, rendering her very shiny, since she is made of plastic after all. I shaded the hair, and then the table, and this is the result. I call it Salsa Baby. 
These people sure know how to throw a party. Cursed image number 838, Barbie heel. In this cursed image, we see a human foot wearing a very nice, shiny black high heel, but the heel part, it's a Barbie leg. Although the Barbie leg definitely does not offer any support at all, the high heel is looking totally stylish, and that is all that matters. The image was very simple to draw and took about 10 minutes from rough sketch to line art, then blocking in color and lastly shading. I'm head over heels in love with this one. If you are wondering why this photo qualifies as a cursed image, then it already deserves to be one. The sole purpose of cursed images is to get the viewer to incite any of the five W's. Who? What? Where? When? And why? You, as the viewer, is supposed to look at an image and think why and have no answer. Of course, there is no right or wrong cursed image, as it is all up to interpretation. Cursed image, gummy bear. Our final cursed image is that of a cute, cuddly teddy bear with horrible, horrible teeth. The teddy bear is looking off to the side and wear what should be his fuzzy warm smile. We see human dentures. I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news, but you're missing a couple of teeth there, Mr. Bear. A photo that should be really cute and endearing has turned almost unbearable with the addition of these teeth. A couple are missing, and the teeth that aren't absent are undeniably terrifying to look at. The coloring was my favorite part for this cursed image. I used the wet brush to imitate a very surreal atmosphere. I also used purple shading again. It's starting to become my favorite. In the end, we get a very scary result. This is another image where I have a billion and one questions, and I'm not going to receive any answers. Cursed images are really just old images, somewhat jarring or shocking. It could be because of the content in the photo, or even the photo quality itself. To me, a cursed image is a photo that really invokes some sort of mystery and just leaves you feeling puzzled and a bit sad that you will never know what happened to inspire that specific picture. And when these images are uploaded without any caption besides cursed image, number, whatever, it really lets the viewer's brain conjure up the weirdest stories imaginable. Which of these cursed images creeped you out the most? Make sure to vote in the polls. Hey guys, thanks for watching. As you may know, if you've watched the last couple of videos, I started a second YouTube channel that has to deal with horror, but more in real life instead of just drawing. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in, please head on over to that channel and click the subscribe button. You can find a link to it in the description down below or in the end card of this video. I also kept forgetting to mention, but a really cool fan by the name of that fire guy has created a discord for me. If you are interested in joining the discord to chat, you can find a link to the discord in the description down below as well. Looking forward to chatting with you guys. Now it is officially the end of this video. Thank you so so much for watching. Keep your eyes peeled for the next video. Bye.